we all know what this is. This is planet Earth, our planet, our world, the third planet from the sun in our solar system. But this is a lot more, and I would like to make a suggestion here today, that this is our home. Not only is this our home, this is us. And my suggestion is, until we see the earth as us and us as the earth, the challenges facing us today will continue. I want to share with you something that's taken me 25 years to write. I will show you a series of slides. I will read them out to you, and I ask you to please make no judgments, read and listen with an open heart and an open mind. I will then ask you to close your eyes for about 30 seconds, and then I will proceed to ask you to open your eyes. You are deeply concerned about the state of our world. You strongly feel that our world is undergoing an unprecedented environmental crisis. Humanity has reached its limits of material growth, including peak oil and ecological resources. Human lifestyles today have the same impact in one year on our natural resources as our ancestors' lifestyles did in 1,000 years. We are living through an unprecedented mass extinction period. You can relate that if everybody lived the lifestyle that you live, we would need another planet Earth. Our Earth is a living organism. The Earth is not dying. The Earth is being killed. The production of meat, fish and dairy is a serious cause of global pollution, suffering and misery. There is no culture left in mainstream agriculture. You are what you eat. Cheap food is a crime. One day, industrial farming will be frowned upon in the same way human slavery is now frowned upon. You're disillusioned with most governments and institutions. <coughs> you mostly don't believe what you hear or read in mainstream media. You tend to watch less TV. <coughs> you would rather source your information personally via the internet, libraries, and the such. War is a lie you cannot believe anymore. <coughs> Military intelligence is an oxymoron. War is largely business benefiting large business. You're a conscious consumer. You care about cultural and social initiatives as a matter of principle. You support more feminine leadership. You support women's issues such as equal rights, education, family, and childcare. You tend to read the labels and lists of ingredients on products before purchasing them. You're willing to pay more for the following organic food, fair trade and ethical products, alternative medicine, green energy sustainable infrastructure, and progressive education. 
You like to support NGOs and charities with time or money. You're aware of the power you have as a consumer to impact change. The global economic business as usual system does not work anymore. You don't believe money can solve your problems and needs or the world's problems and needs. Bringing the economy back to normal is not in the interest of humanity and the planet. GDP and other such measures of economic growth are not true indicators of wealth and well-being. Material success does not mean happiness. It's not really about the economy, but really about ecology. You're deeply saddened when you see images of forests being burned and large-scale environmental destruction. You see rubbish when you go hiking or visit nature, and this pains you. You recycle as a matter of habit and principle and feel disturbed when you see recyclables go into rubbish and bins. You care about what you put in your body, on your hair, and on your skin. You care about what you put down your drain and sink. You believe that water is sacred and the source of life and should be treated with respect. You're willing to change your lifestyle and income to counterbalance our planetary crisis. You lead a life voluntary simplicity. By acting locally, you are thinking globally. You believe that one person, perhaps yourself, can change the world. By changing yourself, you are changing the world. The heart is smart. You're optimistic and proactive by nature. You're comfortable taking the path less trodden. You use your intuition and gut feelings to make decisions. You're comfortable with letting go and going with the flow. Having no plan is often the best plan. You have had a spiritual or Zen experience before. You have a daily practice such as yoga, meditation, tai chi, or a similar whole mind-body practice. You believe in the sixth sense and that humans possess extrasensory perception. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. The mind and the body are not separate Rather, they are deeply interconnected. Our genes, DNA, and cells are not selfish, but rather altruistic. Material science and medicine have already run their course. Our current institutions of education, health, business, and industry are mostly outdated and do not serve a sustainable future. Indigenous cultures have a lot to teach us. The basis of nature is cooperation and democracy, not competition. You believe in one universal creative intelligence that permeates all of creation. We are all connected on a deep quantum level. Consciousness as a causal reality is the foundation of the new scientific paradigm. We've shifted from a material paradigm to a consciousness paradigm. I think, therefore I am, is no longer enough. I am consciousness, therefore I am, is needed today. The human, ecological, and spiritual crisis today 
is the new birth. The healing of the earth and the healing of the human spirit are one and the same. Neither can be achieved without the other. We have human rights. We have property rights. Isn't it time for nature to have her rights? The earth does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. Humanity is on the verge of a global creative sustainable shift, the like of which has not been seen in recorded memory. And this excites you. Could you please close your eyes, no cheating, for approximately 30 seconds or so. You may open your eyes. Would you believe it? Would you believe that uh, well over 500 million people who share a similar world view, you are not alone. This movement is our history's largest movement ever recorded or ever known. It does not have leadership. It does not have religion. It does not have dogma. It does not have demographics. It does not have social status. It does not have ethnicity. And this movement that is growing exponentially cannot be stopped because there is no Martin Luther King to assassinate, there is no Mahatma Gandhi to kill, there is no country to bomb. This movement is made out of people like you and me that are not powered by force and arms and bombs and guns, but are powered by knowledge, love and understanding and an innate nature to really make a difference, to creatively and sustainably create what we deserve to have on this beautiful planet of ours. And this movement is unstoppable. Do you know why? Because it is a humanitarian, ecological, and spiritual movement lived with these lifestyles, lived by hundreds of millions of people like you and me. Now this is an idea worth spreading. Thank you very much.